currently at the Bruce Randolph School. So we are a 6th through 12th grade school and we're serving kids who live in the Globeville, Elyria, Swansea, Cole, Whittier neighborhoods in Denver. This is our natural resource room where we grow plants and different type of seeds. Something you don't see in every school. It's also called our hydroponic farm. Our school's named after Daddy Bruce, Daddy Bruce Randolph, and his goal was to feed his community. Without giving the name uh, food insecurity, it was Daddy Bruce who was donating to his community, when it, whether it was at a Thanksgiving food drive or other times throughout the year. And so very much the mission of our school is to give back um, and for our students to be positive um, contributors to their community. And this is one amazing way that they can do this over and over again, not just on one day and for one community service project. Food insecurity is one of the biggest problems that we are facing. We're growing a lot of Romanian lettuce and like butterhead lettuce. Kale, I think we have some chilies and stuff. Uh, we're growing lettuce, kale, we're also growing like mint and yeah. The coolest part about this is just our plants being grown the healthiest way and like with no fertilizers or any pesticides. We started having conversations way back pre-pandemic about ways that we could think big about how to engage our students more deeply in issues impacting their community. And one of the, the largest factors that our kids experience daily is food insecurity. Everything here is like natural and most of the stuff we can take home. So it's just, I don't know, it just kind of feels like you're connected with everything. The opportunity to partner with Teens for Food Justice and bring a hydroponic farm into Bruce Randolph School so that our kids could learn what exactly urban farming is, what hydroponic farming is, and learn how not only to grow their own produce, but how to give back to their community. This is experiential hands-on learning that gives them the ability to see the impact of the work that they're doing, which is tying together their educational experience with this hands-on workforce development experience at the same time. And the impact is immediate, right? You, you, you are planting these seeds, you're growing the food. Five weeks later, you're harvesting the produce and you're consuming it. We are all producers of food. We are all consumers of food. We all play a really important role in that. And so what we want students to have here is that ownership of process so that when they understand how all the pieces fit together, they know that they're an important part of that and that um, they are bringing that to their community as well. It's just something you're always going to have to like learn. Food is always going to be in your diet, so it's better to know how to raise it yourself. Like My dream is to become a chef, so I'm going to need ingredients, especially fresh ingredients. So, you know, it's pretty helpful to learn stuff here. I want to be a nurse, and basically, like, what this class is, like, basically teaching me is, like, to give back to, like, the community and to others. See magic and potential and friendship and of course plants. Um, so it's a space that students get to, to grow all those things together and grow their relationships with us as their teachers and with each other. Um, they get to trial and error and make mistakes and learn how to um, be a part of a process that's bigger than them. It's really cool because you don't really get to see classes like this and it's like just a really good experience to have. You want students to be engaged in the classroom, of course, but what you really want is for three years from now, you see them at the grocery store or as you're jogging through the neighborhood and there's something that they still make a connection to. Um, and I think that the work that we're doing here is really building those connections.